What's happening? You're watching the Telby Reefing and I uh, just thought I'd show you around the tank today. A really short video about all the corals that we have. Um, nothing too exciting is happening. I just tested the water today. Everything is okay. Calcium 420. Uh, I think the magnesium was about 1,200. Alkalinity 8.5. Um, everything's looking good. I love the way this uh, Montipora frag is encrusting. Uh, it is doing that really, really quickly. It was on the frag plug before, took it off the frag plug, stuck it on there, and now it is going crazy. Um, yeah, everything else seems to be uh, happy. And uh, the interesting thing is that when I look at the tank in the morning when I'm on my way out, um, there's more polyps coming out, especially of this one. So it seems as though the polyps are out more when the tank thinks it's night time. Now, I think that's supposed to happen, uh, but I don't really know. But otherwise, yeah, we're just having a quick look at the little SPS frags that are really encrusting really quickly. Um, on the right hand side of that frag there, you can see that entire like white piece is new. It's just getting longer and longer every day, as she said. Uh, and um, Michael Scott. Then we have some encrusting at the base of that wild acro there. And yeah, the Zoe Garden. Oh, then I got the Utter Chaos. The new little additions, maybe we can see it better from that side. There you go. New little additions there, they're opening nicely. The ones at the back are supposed to be rusters, I think. Uh, squish them and they're only slowly opening now. The giant green morph, the clowns love that, but it's it's really, really big. Um, then we've got the Goni, which has only just recently started doing things like um, looking like it had little arms or tentacles, which is quite cool. Uh, it was looking very just condensed or not condensed, but contracted, contracted, maybe. Um, and it's only now starting to look like it's a goni. Uh, the chalice, which was a whole bunch of different colors when I first got it, but now it's turned this red color. Uh, next to that bird's nest is a little seedling of the uh, postulopora. That postulopora there. It's dropped a little baby down there. And then we've got Mount Tobotastria, which every time I want to take a video of it, it's always kind of like, uh, the polyps are always in like this. But throughout the day, the, the whole thing is just covered in really, really fuzzy um, polyps, which is very cool. Uh, yep, that's pretty much it. The, uh, the Dallas is growing longer. Um, everything's happy, so. I just thought that what I'd do is give you guys a little quick uh, two or three minute video just on the livestock, nothing exciting. Uh, the clam is really happy, always is, even though it gets a bit abused every now and again. Every time I do a water change, I move it all the way over and then put it back where it came from, so I don't know. And uh, there's this little thing growing on the side of the clam, that little green thing, I've got absolutely no idea what that is. I've taken off about four of them, it just keeps popping up in the same place. But anyway, that's it. Looks like a, maybe like a, a spawn from uh, a euphilia in a different tank maybe, but anyway. So uh, yeah, that's the tank. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you like. Uh, thanks.